919FM.com. Here's what's happening. Good afternoon. I am Vanessa Thomas with the 4 o'clock news on the street, 919FM. Port of Spain working postponed to the end of June. Flower prices rise again. The National Flower Mills blames the Ukraine war for the 33% price hike. Uh, KFC increases prices of its meals and internationally, Afghanistan earthquake kills 1,000 people. And now the news in detail. The Port of Spain City Corporation will not resume wrecking cars in the capital until the end of June for logistical reasons. The corporation was expected to restart wrecking on June 21st since it had been suspended at the start of the pandemic. Port of Spain Mayor Joel Martinez now says the police were not ready as yet. In the corporation's statutory meeting in May, Martinez said the corporation would use one wrecker during the first month to ensure there was no overzealous wrecking. The objective is to encourage drivers to follow the law and reduce congestion throughout the city. Consumers will have to pay more for flour as the commodity went up again from today. The National Flour Mills Limited has raised the price of its wholesale flour for a second time since January by a staggering 33%, with a suggested retail price increase of 28% as of today. A two-kilogram bag of Ibis flour will now move from $14.77 to $18.73. As a result, consumers can expect an increase in the price of many basic food items where flour is a main ingredient. National Flour our mills CEO Ian Mitchell said the company was able to secure wheat to ensure a reliable supply of flour in TNT. However, the next few wheat shipments have been purchased at record high prices due to the crisis in Ukraine, coupled with decisions by many exporting nations to halt the export of wheat. NFM said if wheat prices go down, it is prepared to reduce flour prices. Meanwhile, Linda's bakery owner Peter George said the announcement was not unexpected. He said Linda's did not plan to raise prices in the short term, but now, obviously, the company is going to have to look deep into the business and see what the impact is going to be. The Linda's bakery owner said it's going to be a tough next couple of months when it comes to food prices, but there's nothing they can do. He added that at some point, the absorption rate is going to begin to dry up, as there's only only so much an economy can take. And Chimo Bakery's general manager, Stokely Phillips, said a jump in flour prices means an automatic increase in product prices. He said raising prices was traumatic for consumers and businesses as the ripple effect was unpredictable. And the president of the supermarkets uh, association, Rajiv Dipti, said supermarkets did not have a choice when it came to raising flour prices as they had to take the price set by the national flour mills. In other news, KFC has increased the price of its meals by $1.50 to $6. This was confirmed by CEO of Prestige Holdings, Simon Hardy. Hardy said the company is facing higher prices for its raw materials and had tried not to pass the cost on to the public, but this was unsustainable. The CEO said with the increase in the price of chicken, oil, imported goods, freight costs and now flour, the chicken and chips franchise had to take a balanced approach. Hardy added that we are all trying to get through these unprecedented times and hopefully in 12 to 18 months, the prices may go back down. Internationally, a powerful earthquake struck a rural mountainous region of eastern Afghanistan early Wednesday, killing 1,000 people and injuring 1,500 more in one of the deadliest quakes in decades. Officials warned that the already grim toll may still rise. The magnitude 6.1 tremor near the Pakistani border caused serious damage in an area where homes and other buildings are poorly constructed and landslides are common. The disaster now poses a major test for the Taliban-led government, which seized power last year as the U.S. planned to pull out from the country and end its longest war two decades after toppling the same insurgents in the wake of the 9-11 attacks. And that was the 4 o'clock news on the street, 919 FM, and online, Facebook and YouTube, recapping the headlines. Flower prices rise again. The National Flower Mills blames Ukraine war for the 33% price hike. 
KFC increases prices of its meals. Port of Spain wrecking postponed to the end of June and internationally Afghanistan earthquake kills 1,000 people. Do enjoy your afternoon and continue to be safe. The Queen of Talk, Ms. Aisha Wells, she's up next.